If you're a podcaster, more than likely you're looking for more people to listen to your podcast. Or if you're a brand, you're looking for more people to pay attention to what you're doing. Now, to speak to that point, I want to say, make sure you're nurturing the people that are already paying attention to you so they know that you appreciate them. However, if you are looking to grow, which we always are, we always want to scale, we always want to get whatever we're putting together into a much brighter light. When you're doing that, podcast guesting is one of the most powerful ways to do that. And I know I've beat this drum many times on several videos here on YouTube, but I'm going to continue to do so until I fall off the chair. And the reason is I believe in it so strongly because going on other podcasts is a phenomenal way to reach a new audience. It's a phenomenal way to establish authority, build trust, open up collaboration opportunities, build your network. There's so many great things that lie in wait when you take advantage of a good podcast guest marketing campaign. Now, in this brief clip that lies ahead from season two of Pod Theory, which I recorded with Travis Brown of Poddex, I got into a little bit more detail as to why you should choose to be a podcast guest. There's a lot of great knowledge in all of season two of Pod Theory, so I highly recommend that you check out all the episodes right here on YouTube, or you can find Pod Theory wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. But for now, jump ahead and listen to why you should be a guest on other people's podcasts. Take a look. One more way to grow your audience, and there's no better person on planet Earth to tell you about it than the man sitting above me on Zoom right now. Or are you next to me? I don't know how this is going to unfold here. We're kind of Brady Bunch in here right now. We're <laughs> I but think it's Jake, back and forth. I don't know. Whatever. Jason is a, a, a I don't even want to say expert. He's a master at this one topic, which is being a guest on other podcasts. And I think it's way underutilized by podcasters. And I think that there's a bunch of really great reasons that I'm going to throw the mic over to you because there's no reason for me to even speak on it because I've heard your master classes. I've read your book that you can download for free. We'll put a link to the bio there. Let's talk about guesting. Guesting is huge. And for me, I think that, and thank, thank you. That, that's uh, a great sell, Travis. I greatly appreciate the kind words. I mean it. I, and I, I know, I know I, I had a great opportunity to speak with your mastermind class about this and had a great time talking with them about the subject. And I really feel that as podcasters, we have to be looking at this more seriously. And this is why the, the title of this show is the best way to grow your audience that most podcasters ignore. I think we've covered some great ground today and all of the aspects that we've talked about so far, Travis, take us outside of that social media box. But to me, guesting is overlooked because it it adds more work to our overall podcasting checklist but the benefits far outweigh any extra work that you would have to do because you have so many opportunities to grow not just your audience but also your network and that's one of the biggest aspects of podcast guesting and, and making those guest appearances on shows that are relevant to your show. You can have so many people that you're now connected with because you went on their show and you had a great conversation. In return, you can say, listen, why don't we continue this on my show? Come over and impact my audience. I'm sure they would love to hear what you have to say. Now you've got a new guest lined up for your show. When you're impacting that other audience, now they're hearing your voice and saying, wow, this person's really good. They have a podcast too? Well, I'm going to go check that out. I want to hear what they have to say. So you're going to start impacting people in a way where they can now come into your circle and check out what you're doing. And what's it, what does it cost you? Your time. That's it. The opportunities that arise from having guest opportunities are so hard to, it, it's, it's incalculable the value that you can get in return. Because we've talked about this, 
your net worth is your network. If you're in podcasting, clearly you believe in the medium. So why wouldn't you utilize that belief by blowing it up and blowing up the message on other shows? Obviously, these people are looking for guests too. And I know podcasters struggle with this. They're looking for more guests to come on their show. They're looking for people that they can collaborate with and make quality content. Be that person. Approach every podcast in your space knowing that they need someone to come on and make an impact. And when you do that multiple times, you increase the size of your network, you impact a new audience every time. And we're just scratching the surface on the value of this. I mean, I could get into a lot of conversation of if you're a brand, what you can accomplish by being a guest on other podcasts. If you're curious about this, I encourage you to check out guestspotter.com on my website. This is my comprehensive booking service where I handle all the aspects of getting you booked on the right podcast shows that are congruent with your mission and your message. Check that out today. And if you like what you see, we can have a longer conversation about it. But overall, the benefits of being a guest on other podcasts, they get, it, it's something that gets ignored. And I've always wondered why, because going on other shows is a killer way to grow your audience and bring more people to your show.